It's been an incredible year at KWTX News 10. Investing in the art of journalism and in Central Texas with a brand new state-of-the-art studio. The most Texas AP awards ever in a single year. The most Emmy nominations in the station's history. And numerous tele awards for exemplary programming and editing. Dimension 10 Creative received numerous awards for marketing campaigns that help local businesses grow revenue. Our production of A Baylor Christmas was syndicated to 13 gray television markets across the country. The Emmy Award-winning Baylor Game Day remains the first and only locally produced program to be carried regionally and nationwide by Fox Sports. But to us, the most important of all honors is that which is the result of answering the call to serve. KWTX has always been about service and always been about giving back, particularly to the underprivileged and the underserved members of our community, which is a large part of who watches Channel 10. I think our community involvement is what sets us apart from anybody else in the, in the market because I feel like we genuinely care about the viewers and the people of Central Texas, and this goes way back. It's what this station is all about. I think it's just important for a TV station to really be focused and involved in community projects. And Food for Families is definitely one of our top priorities every year. Last year alone, 2015, we were able to collect 1.8 million pounds of food and that's a one-day project. The documentary about Vietnam was important because it was our way of saying thank you to these men and women who served so bravely that our country called them and they answered and they came home and some of them were ridiculed and, and spit on and that is not acceptable to me and this was our way of giving them a pat on the back and our way of saying thank you. I found out that the Boys and Girls Clubs of Waco, which is the oldest Boys and Girls Club in the state of Texas, was struggling. I decided to just drive over there and take a look at it and it broke my heart. Walking into a facility that these kids, by the way, love. To them, it's the nicest place that they may get to go to all day, but it wasn't nice at all. The doors are barely staying open. The place smells to start off. How could that be a fun place to spend your afternoon? So I, I brought it back to Channel 10 and said, we can make a difference. To see these children that this is all that they have, you just wanna do what you can. And lo and behold, we have raised over $250,000, which is just, amazing and, an, and a testament to the power of KWTX. How often in life do you get to have a job where you really make a difference? I've never been more proud uh, to call this place my home, to call KWTX my family. One of the defining statements for KWTX is to be the voice for those who have no voice. In 2016, KWTX's commitment to serve Central Texas was recognized by the Texas Association of Broadcasters with the Bonner McLean Award, recognizing television and radio stations in Texas for exemplary community service. And this summer in Washington, D.C., the National Association of Broadcasters Education Foundation honored only one television or radio station in the country for overall excellence. KWTX News 10 was presented the coveted Service to America Award, the Oscar of Broadcasting. Among the factors that led to this honor, we can't forget Vietnam, a critically acclaimed documentary honored with numerous awards and most recently Emmy nominated. So it's a terrible thing, war. It's the cost of it is in terms of lives destroyed. This News 10 documentary is now hosted online by the Department of Defense. It has worked to change the lives of those who served. Our annual Food for Families food drive continues to gather non-perishable food for pantries across Central Texas that serve tens of thousands of people every year. The numerous other KWTX community partnerships also caught the attention of the Independent Board of Selectors, who chose KWTX for this prestigious award. 